Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? I'm a little bit late, but today I'm going to join the club and try the limited edition mystery Oreos and see if I can guess what the mystery flavor is. I'm pretty sure by now everyone's already guessed it, but I got to throw my two cents in anyway. This truly is going to be a What Are We Eating video because we're not only finding out exactly what we're eating, but we're also going to try to figure out the flavor of what we're eating. Who knows, if I guess the winning flavor and win $50,000, I'll give each and every one of you a free one year subscription to this channel. I love milk and cookies, but I haven't had them both together in a long time. I've had a few cookies here and there, but I really couldn't tell you the last time I sat down and had milk and cookies. So I was really looking forward to this video. So before we try to win the $50,000, let's do like we do and go over the information. There's nothing really in these that bothers me personally, but some people don't like consuming palm oil or high fructose corn syrup. So if you can't have those ingredients, you can't even try to guess the flavor and win the $50,000. See what living healthy will do for you? Per two Oreos, there's 140 calories, seven grams of total fat, two grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 85 milligrams of sodium, 30 milligrams of potassium, 21 grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, no fiber? You better not eat too many of these or you're going to form an Oreo poop dam. Then you have 13 grams of sugars and less than one gram of protein. Now when I read this, I chuckled. Slit appears when opened. And I thought to myself, what is this going to be? An Oreo peep show? So here's my pack of mystery Oreos that I got from my local food line for $3.83. When did cookies get so expensive? I guess that shows you the last time I've bought cookies. So let's open it up and see if a slit really appears. Well, definitely no slit, but there's an opening. What were they thinking when they wrote that on the package? Who knows, maybe Harvey Weinstein is their marketing guru. At first glance, they appear to be an ordinary pack of Oreos, but they don't smell like I remember Oreos smelling. To me, they smelled really sugary and fruity, but my wife thought they smelled like peppermint. She obviously huffed too much paint in her day. I also don't remember Oreos having that much filling. Are they all like this now? So without any further ado, let's see if we can figure out what the mystery flavor is. Again, they look just like typical Oreos. But when I first bit into it, I was like, it's tricks. Then I was like, no, it's Fruit Loops. But then I was like, no, it's Fruity Pebbles. All I know, is I immediately got that very sugary, fruity flavor and I really liked it. I thought it was a nice combination with the chocolate cookie. I grabbed another one and ate it just like any normal person does. I ate the middle first. Again, a very sugary, almost cotton candy-like fruity flavor. I loved it. Like I said in the beginning, I love milk and cookies, but I cannot tell you the last time I had them together or even a glass of milk for that matter. So I got a cup of my daughter's almond milk to drink with and dunk my mystery Oreos in. And if you've never had it, almond milk is not bad. We get the plain unsweetened flavor for her. And it was a bit nostalgic dipping the Oreo in the milk. It had been so long since I'd done this. But even more nostalgia set in when I bit into the semi-soggy mystery Oreo. It's been so long since I've even had an Oreo but I do remember the flavor like it was yesterday. And I've got to say, I like the mystery Oreo cream more than the original Oreo cream. These are really, really good, but I don't see myself rushing out to get more because cookies to me are what crystal meth is to a meth head. I would simply become addicted to them. Just sit back and picture me licking my lips like a meth head during this video. That's exactly how I'd be if I kept cookies in my house. So even with that said, I'm going to give the mystery Oreos a 9 out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.